hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see an example of transient analysis and in this particular problem we are going to determine v of t value now let's look at the given question in the question they have asked for the following circuit assume the switch has been open for a long time and closes at t is equal to zero determine the v of t after the switch switch moves it means we are going to find the voltage across the capacitor after the switch is closed right now to find this one we are going to use this equation vc of t is equal to vc of infinity plus vc of zero minus vc of infinity times e power negative t over tau here these are these are the three things that's important vc of infinity vc of zero and this tau time function these are the three things we need in order to solve this problem now let's write this one down again vc of infinity and vc of zero and also we have to find out the time constant tau we always start with vc of zero that's our initial condition and if you look at the question they have asked uh, they have mentioned that uh, the switch has been open for a long time and closes at t is equal to zero so before the time is equal to zero like from negative infinity to zero this switch has been open so it means this part does not exist before zero because if the switch is open we consider there's no current flow right so we consider this part does, does not exist and solve for this one and from this one you can see th here we have a voltage source and this is the only voltage source across this capacitor and we have only one resistor so v of zero like zero minus it means before zero this is 10 voltage okay now we have taken care of this part now let's go to the time constant to find the time constant we have to find the r equivalent and we have to know the capacitance but capacitance is already there so we don't have to worry about that part r equivalent we have to look at what's going to be the thevenin resistance seen by this capacitor to find this one what we do is we short circuit the voltage sources let's uh, re uh, redraw the diagram okay if we short circuit the voltage sources the circuit is going to look like this here we are going to have resistance two resistance this is two ohm and also here we are going to have another resistance okay this is six ohm six ohm and uh, we have the capacitance across this one okay and this is 1 over 3 farads and if you look at this resistance these are in parallel these are parallel resistance right so when we have the resistance in parallel to find the r equivalent what we do is we multiply these two and divide by the addition so this is going to be 6 times 2 divided by 6 plus 2 and that's going to be 12 over 8 and if you divide 12 by 8 that's going to give you 3 over 2 so 3 over 2 that's going to be 1.5 right I instead of writing 1.5 just keep it as 3 over 2 because we have capacitance that's 1 over 3 when we multiply these two that's going to cancel each other 3 over 2 times 1 over 3 and from this one we can see 3 over 3 and 3 cancels each other so we get 1 over 2 second so that's going to be our time constant now we have to find out the vc infinity so when the time is infinity what's going to happen is this switch is closed right so this switch is closed and the current is going to flow through this capacitor so when the current uh, flow through this capacitor for a long time what's going to happen is this capacitor is going to be fully charged and it's going to act like an uh, open circuit it means there's no current flow through this part so we consider this part does not exist and then we find the voltage across this right now let's uh, redraw the diagram because that way we can easily see what's going to happen okay now let's get rid of this part okay, let's get rid of these parts we have to note down that vc of zero is 10 voltage we found out initially and also time constant is half second let's get rid of these parts let's redraw the diagram okay here we are going to have this circuit without the capacitance 
So this is our circuit. We have two sources. Here we have a voltage source that is 10 voltage and this is our 2 ohm resistor and then here we have 6 ohm resistor and here we have minus plus 50 voltage and let's say this is A and this is B okay so this is an open circuit to find the voltage across this one we can use KVL right KVL is addition of all the voltage is equal to zero now let's say the current is flowing through this direction if it's flowing through this direction this is going from negative to positive so this is going to be negative 10 voltage negative 10 and here these two are in series 2 plus 6 so that's going to be 8 times I1 okay let's say I 8I and then let's call this one current i okay 8i then this one going from minus to plus so this again this is going to be negative 50 that's equal to zero so from this one we can find out this current and if we move this number to other side this is going to be 8i is equal to 60 therefore i is going to be equal to 60 over 8 and 60 over 8 you should get 7.5 ampere okay now at v infinity v infinity we are going to have 6 times 7.5 minus 50 to find out the voltage across this one we have to just multiply this current 6 because v is equal to ir right ir so 6 times this current 7.5 minus because current is flowing through the negative minus 50 and if you calculate this one that's going to be the voltage across this one and this is going to give us 7.5 times 2 is 15 4 is going to be 30 6 is going to be 45 45 minus 50 that's going to be negative 5 right now we have these three parts we have the vc of infinity vc of zero and also we have the time constant so we can write our final answer now let's go go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of this part. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our final answer. Vc of t is going to be equal to Vc of infinity that is negative 5 plus Vc of 0 that's going to be 10 voltage minus Vc of infinity so minus minus that's going to be plus plus 5 times e power negative t over tau tau is 1 over 2 second so let's plug it here let's simplify this one this is going to be minus 5 plus 15 e power 1 over 2 is going to flip around and we are going to have negative 2t voltage that's our final answer and so and also and also the condition is time is greater than or equal to zero okay and that's going to be it and if you want to draw the graph for this one okay, let's go ahead and draw the graph in the initial state before the time is equal to zero okay, let's say this is time this is voltage and let's say this is our negative time from negative infinity to zero we had 10 voltage right that's our initial condition here 10 voltage and after this after 10 voltage it's going to decrease it's going to go until negative 5 i had to i had to mention this is going to the bottom part is going to be negative 5 it's going to reach it's better to read through this one okay let's go ahead and draw a little bit top this is our voltage this is our time and here we are going to have this is 10 voltage and after the 10 voltage it's going to decrease like this and it's going to go like this right and at this time we are going to have negative 5 voltage and this point is going to be almost 4 tau
and that's going to be the, the graph for this one i hope this helps thanks for watching